Hey, prayer warriors, God bless you on this Wednesday, June 5th. The month keeps moving on, amen. I tell you, we are in some exciting chapters here of John. So we're in John chapter 15 right now. The whole chapter is our reading today. So let's begin with verse one. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch of me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. Remember that word takes away is to lift up. He doesn't toss them out. He lifts it up. He cleans it so that it can bear much more fruit. Amen. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, ooh, excuse me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, what does it say? And I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Verse 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you desire and it will be done for you. Good word, amen. Great chapters. All right, so let's continue on. Today we're praying for our government as our prayer focus. We are also praying for the state of California, the biggest state, 39 plus million people, 20% evangelical Christians. You know, with all the crazy stuff in California, there's many great churches there also. And today is a creative access area number 52 the Middle East. Amen. Please pray for the people in this country to come to know God through the, the many believers working there as, as volunteer, on staff and volunteer. Those who serve here do it as a great personal risk. So pray their efforts would be rewarded with hearts in the kingdom. Pray for the Holy Spirit to visit people with the love of God. Sound good, church family? Got everything ready? Let's go ahead and pray on this Wednesday. Father, again, we thank you for this new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be very, very glad in it. From the rising of the sun till the time that it goes down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. So we praise you on this day. We praise you with our hearts. We praise you with our love. And we praise you for you're a good, good father. It's who you are. We are honored to be children of God. We are honored to know that we're going to live forever with you throughout eternity where there'll be no more rebellion, no more uh, treasons and on and on because Jesus, he'll be our King and our Lord. And boy, I'm going to follow him close forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today, Lord, as we pray for our country, we lift up the state of California before you, and we pray for the people of California. Many people there, many good churches there too. I know many people are leaving California from the very poor governor there. But Lord, I pray today that you would help the people there. Help them to see. Help them to see the right side. Help them to see the word of God. Help them to get into one of these good churches out there. Many flaky churches too, but we're believing they're going to get into good churches today. We pray for the 39, almost 40 million people there, and we pray. And Father, for this exodus that's going on there, we pray that whatever state they end up in, that you would guide them to a place that's got a church, a community that they can grow thereby. We lift up our United States of America. We pray for those that are in the executive, legislative, and judicial as we pray for our government today as our prayer focus. We pray for Biden and Harris, Schumer and Johnson, and also Roberts and the uh, associate justices of the Supreme Court. We pray for scales to come off their eyes. Lord, some of these people are getting awfully old and they need to make decisions. I'm not just talking about Biden and Harris. The executive branch is huge. So many people, the cabinet, the secretary of this and that, and on and on. It's just huge. And then all the employees there and people that make decisions. We just pray for them, Lord. Help them to come to the saving knowledge 
of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, thank you for that in Jesus' name. We pray for our country and we pray again, God help America. We look to you. You said, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, that you would hear our prayers from heaven. You would forgive our sins. You would heal our land. Lord, we know we're living in very last of the last time. So we say, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come. But till that moment, we want to bring in as many people. You know when the number of the Gentiles is fulfilled. But till that moment, we pray. We pray for people. We pray for lives. We pray for people. We lift up the nation of Israel before you today, Lord, and we continue to pray for all that's going on there. We pray for scales to come off of people's eyes, hearts to be open, Lord, and the glorious light of the gospel to come in. We pray for their protection and their favor, Lord, in Jesus' name. As we today, as our prayer focus, we pray for the Middle East, Lord, and we pray for the countries of the Middle East. We pray for them, Lord. So many of these could come to the saving knowledge of Jesus, but yet they've been caught in this wicked, violent religion, Lord. We just pray for them. Help them to see. Help them to see. We pray and we lift them up before you, Father. We lift up our world before you today. We lift up Barbados, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Aruba, Car Caracoa, Colombia, Venezuela. We pray for these nations, Lord, and we pray for our world. And as I said yesterday, people need the Lord. Help people to see today, Lord. I pray that the scales would come off their eyes and their hearts would be open and that the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus Christ would penetrate in a big way. And I thank you for that. We pray for every individual person, be they poor living in the gutters or be they extremely rich living in the penthouse. I pray that they would come to salvation in Jesus Christ. I pray for laborers out there, Lord, to use them mightily to use them mightily in Jesus' name. I pray for these laborers. We lift up Chemico Global, Campus Crusade for Christ International, CIFA Ministries International, CEO Forum, Children Evangelism Fellowship, Chinese Coordinator, oh my goodness, Chinese Coordinator Center of World Evangelism, and Christ for all nations. We lift these up before you in Jesus' name. I pray today, Father, for the Gideons. Great work, Lord. Great work they're doing. Praying effectively for the lost ministries and another great work, the Jesus Film Project. All these are such great works, Lord. We lift them up before you when we pray for the glorious power of the Holy Spirit to give them courage and give them direction to share the word of God. I pray, Father, over the prayer cards that have come in this week. And we pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. Lord, as we stretch our hands and as I lay my hands on these, we thank you for people being healed, people being touched, <coughs> lives being changed for the glory and honor of God. And I thank you, thank you for that. You that has begun a good work, you will bring it to total completion in their lives. Lord Jesus, you are the author and the finisher of our faith. Thank you for what you've begun and thank you for what you're going to complete. I pray, Father, for my precious prayer warriors. What a team you have put together here, Lord. And I pray for them. Oh, I pray for mothers right now just heard the word mothers. Don't know what's going on there, but I pray for mothers right now in Jesus' name. A touch upon mothers in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Oh, we lift up one another. We pray for one another. We curse any cancer cells that are trying to develop in our bodies, ones that we might not even know about. You said with long life, you will satisfy us and show us your salvation, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for your touch, Lord. Oh, right now. 
right now. I just pray for eyes. 2020 vision in Jesus' name. 2020 vision. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just curse cataracts right now. Cataracts from eyes. Thank you, our King. Oh, we love you, Lord. We love you. If there's something you believe in God for, just say it. I, I receive healing for whatever it might be. Take hold of this prayer time. This is a sweet anointing right now. Take hold of it. Amen. Now, Father, we do praise you and thank you for this new day. Thank you for our, ser our service tonight, Lord. Going to be always over the top, Lord. To you be the glory, the honor, and the praise. Oh, we love you so. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. God is good, amen. Walter Hoving home tonight, they're always a blessing, amen. God bless, have a great day. Talk to you soon. God bless.